Hello and welcome back to The Coding Circus. This is a little video to show you how to take a project that you have made and put it together in a way that anybody can play it and use it on their own computer. Uh, the only issue becomes sometimes when you send an, this file through email, emails kind of block it. So you might want to hand it to them on a USB stick um, or upload it to uh, a Google Drive or something like that. So let's dive in and see how to do this. I'm going to start with a project. I liked uh, my Sorting Shapes game. You may remember it. When I run it, here we go, drop all the blocks around, and I got to stack the boxes and sort them out into um, different places. In order to export this in a way that I can use, I need to go to File. And down here it says publish as exe. So I'm going to click that link and it's going to take me through all the process I need. Uh, Visitor needs to run your script in order to determine which files it needs. So we're going to press run and let it run it. Waiting for the script to finish. We might want to fly around a little bit just to make sure it kind of has everything and see everything that's in there. And it's going to package everything up for us. There we go. Just play it a little bit. Make sure it does what it's supposed to do. Closed it. Now it's going to wait for the script to finish. And there we go. It finished. So it's going to tell me all the things that it needs to do. It's going to give me a place to publish it, which happens to be in the same folder that it found the original PY file. So I don't need to do anything other than click this Publish button. And it's going to go through and start generate the executable. It's going to take a little while. So I'm going to kind of pause my video just until it's done. OK, so now it's done. Uh, the executable is here. Uh, the folder that it lives in is there. Congratulations, your script has successfully been published into an executable. If you would like to save your published settings for later, you can click there. But we didn't change anything, so we don't need to save it. I'm going to click Finish. So that's it. Now I'm going to go into my folder here, and I'm going to find my uh, executable file. And you can see it's right here, sort shapes. Uh, just to show you that I can work with this anywhere, I'm gonna copy it out of that file. And I'm just gonna go to my desktop and I'm going to place it onto my desktop. And you can see now it's on my desktop of my computer and I'm gonna run it from the desktop. So it doesn't have access to, whoops, Thinks it's suspicious, so I'm going to say no, it's fine. And look, now it runs as if it was running in Wizard. So you could then send this over to anybody. Um, the only thing, oh, it looks like the controls have re reverted back to the arrows. Oh, my security system keeps stopping it. But it looks like the controls may have reverted back to the arrows. I don't know if my grabber is still going to work. Let's see. Hopefully my grabber still works. Yep. Oh, my virus protection software keeps starting it and stopping it. Okay. Let's make sure my grabber still works. And it looks like my grabber still works. It all works. It's just some of the... Oh, nope. Now everything's working. I guess it was just my virtual virus protection that was messing it up. So it all works. You can now send that executable file to anybody and share it with them. Uh, either through a Google Drive or through a Canvas assignment. Hmm, I bet you can see where this is going. So I will see you uh, next time.